Ladies and gentlemen, boys and grills, Modsville USA here. And today we've got a real uh, interesting one. Still rocking the Wii Mini. And today I'm going to be installing a GameCube port in this guy, uh, hopefully. Mounting it is going to be a challenge, I'm sure. Uh, but we are going to do our best. Uh, so... Enough being around the bush. Let's just dive right in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. Couldn't really find a larger image, but um, uh, this is the uh, this is the pinout we're going to want to use to uh, solder to our connector here. So, ideally, I plan on making a kit. Uh, for this to make it much more uh, straightforward, less DIY, but right now we are experimenting and we're going to see uh, what the fuck is up. So uh, let's get this wired in and tested and then uh, the real challenge is going to be mounting. So let's start with the wiring. Okay, first things we're, we're going to do here is... Tin this up and wire it. Uh, we want to be gentle. So these pins are kind of um, kind of weird with getting solder to adhere to them. So use a larger tip here. And we don't want to apply any pressure because then we'll knock the pins around and um, have to realign them. So I'm just going to very lightly. Touch my tip to the pins here. Don't apply any pressure. We're just trying to get some solder on the pins we want to wire. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Doesn't need to be too sexy. We just want to get wires to be able to connect to the pins. So the top side is the one with the uh, notch in it like that. So we got three wires up top and then uh, the bottom middle is not connected. Um, so yeah, we're going to get wires connected to all of these. I'm going to go with uh, 30AWG. Anything Thicker might be a problem given the size of these pins. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, I've got this all wired up. I'll clean the flux off. Give the wires a little tug. Make sure they don't just come popping off. They seem good here. Double check for sure. It's very fine. Very, very fine spacing. Looking good, and then double check the pins here. They didn't get knocked around uh, with the iron. Everything's looking good to me. So we are going to wire it up. We're going to use that diagram as a reference. So it's one to one using the one I showed earlier. So let's pull it back up here. Okay. So green top left pin ground uh, this is the data line in the middle top right is 5 volts and then blue is uh, 3v3 white is ground so we've got two grounds we'll start with those and uh, yeah let's, let's take it to the Wii Mini okay here's the two ground wires Got them merged together. And I'm just going to use this ground right here. Any ground will do. The ground's a ground. Okay, next is the data line. That will be this guy right here. If you don't have this PCB um, over it, it's totally fine. Just gonna hit the test pad. 
All right, data's connected. Okay, this one is five volts. A couple places to grab that. I'm gonna grab it from this pin here. This is USB. Very good. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, did not connect the 3v3 line uh, in the footage, so I'm just going to go in here and uh, just go over this. Uh, this diagram was made by Deadly Foes. Very, very useful uh, for the test pads and everything. Um, so this has everything on it and 3v3 right here. So this top test pad. Top left, just below that, is GC Pad 1, and a whole bunch of other useful information in here as well. For the memory card uh, test pads, we got the SD card test pads, and everything that needs to be done for Wi Fi. Really, really great, but yeah, 3v3 right here. Let's carry on. Okay, now would be a good time to test. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of encase these pins here, pins and wires, in either in some UV resin, uh, likely. The last thing I want is for these to get snagged, for the wires to come undone, have 5 volts, 3 volts, whatever, uh, popped out, shortened ground, something like that. So, with all of these, make sure nothing's shorting. Uh, this is optional. I would just feel more comfortable if these wires were secure and there's no way 5 volts is going to get popped off and uh, get shorted out. Well, this may look a little janky, but I feel a bit more comfortable with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together minimally, uh, get to where a GameCube controller will work, and we shall test. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, controller seems to be working just fine. Uh, so now it's a matter of mounting it, figuring that out. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little, uh, little tricky, I imagine. I'm going to uh, design a bit of a uh, 3D printed stencil uh, to try to get this as tight as possible. So let's get into that. Huge thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay. If you're in the market for some PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, 3D printing, or even PCB design, PCBWay has you covered. If you're looking for a fun soldering project, check out the Shared Projects section. There's a ton of amazing DIY projects to pick from. Just pick a project, click Add to Cart, good to go. Click the link below to check out PCBWay. It helps the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Now let's get back to the show. Okay, so I've got my calipers here. And the idea is these black tabs here along the edge. I'm gonna measure these from end to end. Design somewhat of a um, you know rectangular cutout. I was thinking about it. Like, do I want to cut a circle and then it just pushes in and I glue it or whatever? I'm thinking the best way to do it would be to slide it in from the front and secure it some way from the inside. Um, one, because it's much uh, more reasonable to cut a rectangle square than a circle. When it comes to something like this, uh, that's the main reason. Now it looks a little weird with these lips here that come out. Might end up filing those down. And I'll just try to keep it exact, I guess, because we can always file more out. Just slip it through. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I've gone ahead and designed uh, some simple things here in Tinkercad. On the left, this is going to be a cut stencil to cut the hole uh, for the GameCube port. 
make it nice, easy, clean, and hard to fuck up. And then on the right here, this is a bezel that the controller port is going to slip into. And let's just keep it cleaner, uh, a cleaner look, but the main point is to the slope here, um, just to keep it angled flush, like straight ahead. Uh, because the Wii Mini is uh, curved in the front there. But the front does have the uh, the most space, so we don't need to hack it up on the inside. Um, so yeah, that is, that is really why I'm going with the front there. And it just makes sense for a controller port to be on the front of the console. Uh, unlike the original Wii, I can't think of any other console that doesn't have the controller port on the front so that's the spot and I do want to develop a nice clean kit um, to do all four in the front of the console I think that would be sick so I am definitely going to be chipping away at that uh, follow me on Twitter uh, if you want to be kept in the loop the discord etc uh, but yeah uh, let's start cutting this hole Okay, here we have the front of the console. I've got this little uh, cut stencil here. I've taped it up. I don't want to move it around. Um, we should be gravy in that front. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I don't want to drum all this. I'm going to cut a series of holes. Well, first I'm going to get a Sharpie, uh, just outline it. Okay, so I'm going to cut a series of hole, like small holes. I'm going to use flush cuts to remove, uh, to just snip it out. And then we're just going to file. Uh, pretty simple stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and show you when we're done here. Hey, uh, don't forget to check out ModsvilleUSA.com. I have plenty of chips and tools for your retro modding needs, and there are plenty of new doodads coming in very soon. If you're not comfortable with soldering, I offer a variety of send-in services. Just click the send-in tab, let me know what you want done, and I'll get back to you with a quote as soon as possible. Well, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is looking pretty fucking sick so far. Um, so cut the hole. Just like that. Now, it would be ideal if it was little bit more up top so I might tweak the stencil just a little bit so this guy's kind of hanging down a little bit I don't totally hate that though um, but as you can see controller port is not perfectly straight but if we didn't have this bezel be angled like that and I don't I just don't think that's going to uh, that's not gonna feel right that might just the connector might collide with the floor or the furniture whatever it is so we want to straight that straighten that out a little bit uh, so yeah that's getting there now I'm thinking I might file upwards just a little bit more Try to get this uh, bezel being flush. And I think the idea, though I ordered a bit of epoxy, and I would like to epoxy this connector to the bezel so it's not loose, and then maybe epoxy the bezel to the shell here and I want to talk to some homies that are a little bit better at um, doing uh, the 3d design stuff to see about maybe some kind of some kind of option to lock it in on the backside that isn't hot glue uh, but in the meantime is pretty prototypey so what I'm going to do I'll likely hot glue it on this side um, because the wires too we're gonna want to do that so I'm gonna rewire from scratch I'm going to 
uh, color code it with the wires in a way that I'll remember it. I'm going to have them a little bit, a little excessy on the, the wiring there because uh, the wiring is going to need to come through the hole. And I would rather be soldering first to this as opposed to have it coming from the board than having to solder to these little pins. But yeah, I mean, this is all just kind of, you know, down and dirty console modding. But I could absolutely make this like a proper, uh, you know, proper kit. The just streamline it, make it as clean as possible is the idea. So pl yeah, please let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. You know, if there's no interest, I don't want to uh, do a whole bunch of R and D on something that nobody wants to buy. But if this is something that interests people, which I think it will, definitely interests me. The Wii Mini is fucking cool. I've always thought it looked cool, and it's just the fact that so much is stripped out of it is what makes it suck but we could really add all that shit back in so uh you know why stop it just wi-fi and the sd card let's get all four gamecube ports and try to make it look clean in the front of the console what do you say i say yes uh but yeah i want to file in a little bit more and then show you guys where we're at well all right ladies and gentlemen we got the GameCube controller port installed. And would you look at this? It lives. Now the plan is, I would like to make a kit uh, that adds all four to the front. and streamlines the process of installing it without any adhesives uh, and whatnot, or wires, it'll be a QSB. Flex cable. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a, about a uh, week and a half since the previous footage, and I have been locked in uh, to designing some boards to get these four controller ports back added in. It's taken a lot of uh, uh, twists and turns, getting different ideas, adding new things, but essentially, this is the idea. Um, this is the front panel uh, PCB mount in this location uh, we'll have a 3d printed bezel and the idea is a cut stencil so you're gonna have to cut it out and then this will just snap into place screw in um, and then QSB go into the main board to get all the signals we need uh, so four controller ports and I think we can even do the second USB port uh, reset button I'm going to be trying to add uh, Blue Retro in it. Uh, and I have all these boards designed, ordered. There's going to be some testing done, obviously. And then if everything goes to plan, it's just a matter of the designing the, uh, the front panel, the 3D models for that. And um, should be good to go. I mean, I think um, if everything goes to plan, I don't know. I can have these in about a month. So... Uh, down in the description, I've got a listing page uh, that I've created, um, just a dummy one, and then on the right-hand side, you can click notify me if you're interested uh, in something like this. So yeah, if you're interested, go down there, click uh, notify me, because I'd like to gauge interests on uh, uh, how many people would actually want a kit like this. Either way, I'm stoked to make it. Um, Something about this just really excites me, just adding everything back to the Wii Mini that was removed because it's such a cool console. It's such a, um, I've always loved the style of it. It's just always kind of sucked that it was um, so stripped down and barely usable. Um, but thankfully, you know, people are determined to add everything back, and so am I. So, yep, stoked to see how this turns out and follow me on Twitter, go down to the, um, go to the listing, click notify me if you're interested in this, or just follow me on Twitter to stay up to date, uh, with how this project's going, but I'm pretty stoked, so stay tuned, and, uh, thanks for watching.